Hey guys, Thomas Cecilia Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the movie Cats. So, if you end up enjoying this review, consider joining my Patreon page. Any donations are desperately needed. So, with that being said, let's get into the movie Cats. And, just for reference, I have not seen the original uh, play that this is based off of. So, I had also heard the various uh, people talking about the bizarre CGI issues that this movie has had. Um, but, despite that, I decided to check it out anyways. So anyways, we start the movie out with no surprise here. A bunch of cats lurking about in the streets. Uh, and a human hand comes over and leaves a bag uh, and drops it down as more cats check it out. And um, lead Victoria uh, is sent out uh, and they sing to her asking her questions through song and then they go into the different type of cats that there are in existence but they all flee and uh, in the name of Mac of the or something like that. Um, he's the bad cat. Uh, he's like talk singing to her. And Victoria, again, she's gone on about uh, the different cats and they all claim to their names. Uh, there's the magic one that's like this magic cat. I forget what his name is. Uh, and there's this other one that's sort of leading her about, uh, talking to her about this Jaleel ball, where apparently a cat is chosen to be reborn. So, uh, this other male cat is, like, guiding her around, showing, showing her all these other cats that are, like, prepping up for their training or whatever. We meet, I believe her name, or her name shortened anyways, was Jenna. And we got her own little song where there are little bug people. And then she takes off her fur. And then underneath her fur is a dress and more fur. Uh, and then a fancy cat, or a black cat, comes in. Um, and they start to head outside with, along with Victoria, and he sort of, uh, gets a bunch of female cats all aroused by his, uh, song. Which is all about him and the, the, mar the milk bar. Uh, so she sees this glamour cat, uh, outside the party zone. And, um... She quickly gets distracted by this fat cat that comes out and starts singing about himself. Um, but as we see, uh, the bad cat is slashing down Gina uh, after checking her. So anyways, uh, Vic sees these two pair of cats uh, who are like these burglar cats. Um... And they proceed to steal things and mess with the house and then um, give her some stuff and then they leave. See a, bar a dog barking on the other, or hear a dog barking on the other side. And the magic cat returns to help her. She kind of, he just somehow knew where she was. So, uh, fat, the fat cat gets uh, tricked into going into this pier location via teleports uh, and this this tiger cat keeps them there uh, then the the whole the little host cat is like oh we have this old cat that's like the one who cho the one that chooses so they go down to the ball and they start dancing and um, we see that the other cats are like getting a little tired out because they're like dancing about. And 
and uh, Victoria sees um, the uh, glamour cat again, and she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna sing to you this time about wanting a family." So she's singing in reply, and then we see more of the magic cat helping uh, Gus, this old man cat, starts to sing his little song. But then the hat, the evil cat teleports him away. So then we get an alleyway cat, and if you haven't caught on, uh, this is a, the whole, the majority of the movie is just cats introducing themselves and the different types of cats. So this one's like a tap dancing cat and then they're moving on throughout the uh, little train. But the bad guy returns and then captures him after having and then when that happens um, he has a female cat uh, help her help him uh, spread his little message through using catnip, which uh, makes the cats all go. Ooh. So they're trying to get uh, Victoria as well, um, but the old cat lady refuses him to be picked to go to heaven or return to normal or whatever it is the case of that. Uh, and takes her to the old docks as well. So the host cat tackles the two twins and is like, oh, where is she? And Victoria, des in desperation, turns to the magic cat. Everyone's like, oh, I gotta believe in him. So anyways, um, while that's going on, Victoria sees the bad cat, and the other cats uh, begin to escape with the help of, um, after the magic cat brings her, the old cat back. Um, and then Victoria essentially rejoins them. So, the, uh, what, what was her name? The, the, the... I wrote her name earlier. The Glamour Cat, sorry. Uh, she's the one that is chosen to uh, ascend. Uh, she goes up, and then they all sing. And then it does an o a sort of camera pan to the old cat who looks directly to the camera. And then sings her, her little final song about what cats aren't, which are dogs. And that you must pet them and then, like, do other certain activities and blah, blah, blah. And that's the movie Cats. Um, you know, beyond the CGI issue, um, I must say they didn't really hold back at all. And um, that, to me, is a little surprising that they just went and just, you know, just go through the motions. Um, I don't know how well this translates in a play. I'm assuming a lot better than this. Um, I think, and maybe this is just me, I think, I, I don't know how much CGI cost is compared to animated cost, but I think it would be more interesting to see a, if, you know, if this were to be, you know, the movie version were to be an animated version of the of the Broadway musical, because the Broadway musical is already live action, so dressing people in CGI fursuits and doing it that way just seems a little repetitive. It seems like they're not bringing anything new to the table in that regard, and the whole CGI mess could have been avoided that way. I know, again, animation would have probably made it more costly in terms of just making it, but um, I think that would have helped avoid the whole... CGI debacle. Uh, so there's that. Um, yeah, and there are a few things, like, again, that just are very creepy. Like, again, the fur suit thing about, like, taking it off and have another one with another suit underneath it and all that stuff. Um, but when it's when it comes time to do the whole singing part, they do bring it again. Um, you have pretty talent, damn talented people here. 
uh, doing their best uh, with what they have. Uh, so I'd give this movie a 3 or 4 out of 10. Um, and that comes from, again, just them doing everything they can to uh, bring that energy, bring all that dancing and singing to uh, this. Again, I it is a bit weird to have a musical number and already have it being live action and then to also just make the movie this sort of hybrid between live action and CGI. It just seems, again, a bit too repetitive. Again, I think it would have been a lot... It would have made a lot more sense just to make it animated. Um... And you could avoid the creep factor in that regard. And you probably could get the same people, most likely. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. So, again, a 3 or 4 out of 10. And if you enjoyed my review, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description. I know I do to my Discord server. The other to my Patreon page. Any donations are desperately needed. And until next time, everyone, bye-bye.